Whatever results you see here, apply them under your own risk. This is just merely for information and for science. Um, I guess that the results that you will see here are more applicable if you keep fish from the southern cone of South America, like the, the native species we have here. For example, like Lepidota, Pike Cichlid, Motoro Stingray, Piranhas such as Maculatus Piranhas, Marginatus Piranha, Cerrosalmus Marginatus. If you have the southern variant of the red belly piranhas, they are also known as Ternetsis. If you have them, I guess these results may be applicable to them as well. And a whole bunch of other species that you can see here. I will drop a list right here. So all of these species, if you have them, um, they may be comfortable enough to to keep in these temperatures that I will show you today. So let's get into the test. Okay, let's see how high the the kitchen the kitchen thermometer gets. Uh, I can feel that the water is actually a lot warmer than the air temperature. It's really, really a lot warmer, and and uh, the, the thermometer was showing five degrees when it was out of the water, five degrees Celsius. Okay, so the, the, the kitchen thermometer is showing a temperature of 17.9 degrees Celsius or 64.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is this are the surface temperature. This is nowhere near the depth of the river. So that's pretty warm. It's actually warmer than I expected for such a, such a cold for such a cold afternoon. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the lake. This is the main river, this is the Paraná River. Now I'm gonna go to the lake to see how cold the lake gets. We'll see. We'll see what, what the temperature looks like there. Okay guys, it's pretty damn foggy out here in the lake. The water here is a lot shallower and there's also a lot less current and it also receives a lot less water from, you know, from different sources unlike the river. So I expect the lake to be slightly colder than the, than the river, but we'll see, we'll see what the thermometer shows. Okay, so the reading shows a temperature of 70 degree, 17 degrees Celsius and just like I said, that's almost a full degree lower than the temperature at the river. Let's see what the temperature in Fahrenheit is. That is 62.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, it's definitely warmer than I expected. I was expecting to encounter temperatures of, I don't know, around 15 degrees Celsius or so. It's a lot warmer than I expected, but that's pretty cool to see that the water doesn't really get that, that cold out here. Okay, so a, a little recap of what we just saw. Um, this test was done on a cold winter morning. The air temperature outside was somewhere around four and five degrees Celsius, or that's like 40 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. Yeah, for, for, the, uh, for those of you who are in the States and you use Fahrenheit temperature, Fahrenheit degrees. Um, it's not it was not the coldest day of the year like it does get a little bit colder on some days down here in Paraguay and in the surrounding countries like Brazil and Argentina and Uruguay it does get a little bit colder still but four or five degrees in the morning is a good I think it's a good example of a cold winter morning and you may be wondering why I didn't pick the the, the coldest day of the year to perform this test. Well, there are two reasons for that. The first reason is that I, I don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. At 5 on, on, on the coldest day of the year. I mean, I woke up really early right before sunrise because that's usually the coldest time of the day. And the second reason is that 
Well, we're not. I don't think people are really interested in in the in the extremes here. Like, if you're trying to maybe simulate natural conditions or the natural the natural seasons if in in your in your fish tank, you're probably gonna want to go all the way down or up to the extremes of the temperature ranges because that will that that actually may put your fish in danger. Uh, you know, when it gets extremely cold or extremely hot, that's actually dangerous for fish. If you want to, if you're trying to simulate the natural conditions, if you, I would say that a cold day, not the coldest day, is a good enough example to, you know, to, to, to apply in your in your in your water in your aquarium. And I might actually repeat this test just for science. I might actually repeat this test next year in winter, I mean a year from now and, and see if the temperatures are actually colder on the coldest day of the year because I actually was pretty surprised with the results. Um, the water was a lot warmer than I expected. I mean I knew that the water doesn't get any anywhere near as cold, anywhere as cold as the air temperature, but it was actually warmer than I expected. I expected something between like 15 degrees Celsius or something. And if you're wondering, if you're curious about how active fish get during the winter, they actually they actually can, get, can be pretty active despite the cold temperature. If you wanna check out some fishing footage, check the video up here, That's you will see some bicycle fishing in the winter, they get really aggressive sometimes. So, see you guys!